Crossovers are always a bit weird, as some suffer from character flanderization. The stories themselves can be rather shallow since you won't see the growth of change in the cast, but the new characters will excel. However, it's almost always a lot of fun to see characters you like from different fiction pieces interact with each other. In Robotics Notes Dash, which takes the cast of Robotics Notes and adds a dash meaning Daro the Super Hacker from Steins Gate, we get a story that touts itself as a full sequel to Robotics Notes, which I was incredibly excited to see go down. <laughs> Taking place six months after the events of Robotics Notes, Robotics Notes Dash stars Kaito Yashio, who has returned to the island for a vacation after moving abroad to study and focus on getting a career. He needs this because he misses his friends, especially Akio, following a deeply emotional confession scene from the previous game. As Akio has graduated, the remaining members of the high school's robotics research club have been put in charge of some robot-themed tie-ins for the upcoming island festival and hope that that can boost their member count as they are now down to three and need to recruit some more or the club will be disbanded. Meanwhile, Daru has come to the island for his own mysterious ends and is roped into the story when the last game's villain shows up touting everyone to try and stop his unknown plans before he exacts revenge. The story's viewpoint changes between Daro and Kaito as they attempt to figure out what the villain is planning and stop it. It's so much fun to see the Robotics Notes characters interact again following the first game's conclusion. Thankfully, the visual style doesn't take a dive, which means your eyes get to feast on the unique mix that made the original so great. 3D animated character models on 2D backgrounds, with new backgrounds and outfits, and a whole host of new well-crafted CGs. The fantastic UI is back too, and the phone droid has been improved to be cleaner as the Tweepo accounts change depending on whose viewpoint you are currently looking through. While you can't respond to anything this time around, it does mean you'll be able to see the posts from other members of the Steins Gate gang, except for Okubi who just has an auto post bot turned on. It almost makes up for the fact that, unfortunately, they don't show up in the game in any capacity. The story of Robotics Notes Dash makes use of some technology which causes delusions that can influence reality, explicitly derived from the supernatural phenomenon that occurs in Chaos Head and Chaos Child. Apparently, some technology on the island begins responding to whoever has the strongest delusions and emits signals that alter reality. Ignore any hope you had for this to be interesting, however, because Daru's fantasies take the stage here resulting in him fantasizing over the cast of 15 through 18 year old girls wearing outfits that appeal to his varying fetishes, which causes all of the girls on the island to undergo a sudden wardrobe change. The problem here is that Daru is supposed to be a 29 year old man with a wife and child making this whole exchange a little creepy. He talks and acts like a horny stereotypical Arage protagonist and we have to suffer through this behavior during the narrative constantly. Even if you don't mind the behavior normally, it's especially grating when he never stops, and there's a horny musing every five lines. Even during serious moments, all the way to the end of the game, you'll see him act like this. On top of this, Steins Gate Zero implied that he would get over behaving like this to focus on his future at that point wife, Yuki. But here she is in Dash, rarely referred to by name, and spent the title unheard from and entirely unseen. She doesn't even get text message cameos. Sadly, the endings suffer from being unconnected to each other. To unlock them, you need to select map locations in a particular order as you try to fix the fallout caused by Daro's delusions. This is an incredibly convoluted system that means you'll be spending at least an hour fast forwarding through the first two chapters, tripping event flags to reach the endings. And that's if you already know which order you need to travel through to reach them. The game gives you no hints, leaving you floundering through trial and error, or just giving up and looking for a guide. Some of the endings are great, at least the ones when Daro is not around. However, they all occur individually, leaving Akio's ending as the only one that's canon. The whole system is weird because Robotics Notes had a perfectly servable system, but Dash decided to replace it with one that is incredibly infuriating and makes the other endings ultimately feel segmented and empty. Some plot points feel rushed and have some incredibly cruel teasing. Characters from Steins Gate are communicated with to resolve a dramatic plot, except we don't see them or hear them but we, the audience, are told that they are right there, 
talking to the characters we can see on the screen. It's another baffling decision that could have been part of a fantastic scenario, but instead I feel like I've only had half the experience and missed out on something that could have been so much cooler. At least the soundtrack still holds up because the OST in Robotics Notes Dash is fire. Robotics Notes Dash is a game that had such an incredible base and some terrific story beats set up to resolve, but it is constantly at odds with its progression system and Daro's presence within the story. This ultimately runs counter to everything that made its predecessor so fantastic. If you like the original story, you would get some enjoyment out of the endings and there are some fun goofy moments to be had with Kaito and the gang. Still, they are severely undercut by the new insufferable lead and the echoes of what could have been something truly great. Maybe we can delude ourselves into making the next one better, yeah? Noisy Pixel is giving Robotics Notes Dash a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.